Tomini, 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 Tomini. This time she's back again. Camila Tomini, the one that we know very well. Among us, those people who are always on the front line of spreading hat over the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Today she had something for William and Kate and I was like, you know what, is that Camilla? Has she forgotten her direction or she's kind of trying to divert or something? Like, I fail to understand. But either way, let's just put that aside and get to listen to what she had to say today. She's questioning as to why uh, William and Kate won't be together in Singapore or the New York City. Domini, Princess Kat is not expected uh, to accompany William to Singapore. That was her question. When we come about here and start saying of how these people, their marriage is not okay, probably at the moment they're even living in different houses, People come out here banging on the comment section. People just come out here on stating of how, how do you know what? We don't have evidence yet, but trust me, you soon or later that we expect everything will be out here. The body language speaks. How these people conduct themselves in public tell you a lot. Just try to compare how the Duke and Duchess of Sussex compare the, how they conduct themselves and what how William and Kate conduct themselves. These are huge difference we just got to learn it's as if cat she's the one like forcing herself to things and that at some point she's embarrassing herself in one way or another and you know what today we saw very well that william just arrived in new york city and probably she he is supposed to be living tomorrow but he's alone as usual as the duke and duchess of sussex got global headlines for the invictus game last week William said that with jealousy and he backed orders at his senior staff to organize a special and begin campaign for him. William the King of telling and not showing thinks he can organize wall to wall PR that he too is a global statesman. That's his royal revolutionary. For abiding his executive duties and hiring Kim CEO that Harry will be jealous of William for a change. The problem is that Cousin Stone Palace has laid it on to thick and the invisible contract is wearing thin. Every contracted PR piece I have read in the Daily Mail, the Times and how the Telegraph has included some really shady stuff. It's also clear that as William's rage around, shrieking with incandescent, Buckingham Palace is quietly briefing against William too. Like the king is not happy about Peg's little campaign right now, especially since Charles and Camilla head to France in a few days. Some highlights from the Telegraph piece by Camilla Tomini. I know Camilla is a delusional person, but she struck a knife into William and Kat's back with this piece. I hope you all just get to read what Camilla had to say. And it, it is so much well written by the Telegraph. You can get to see. And you, you also be questioning yourself, is really this Camilla, Tommy, we're speaking about? William and Kat are just not okay. And the fact that they try to fake Everything that they do is also the worst, worst part of it all. In court, there has been consternation over the couple's decision not to undertake a foreign tour this year. And the back in time to bedtime approach is likely to wear thin as the children grow older. And isn't this what the Sussexes did? Stab after stab in her face back. I'm surprised Tomini even mentioned the fact that Kate has been without a private secretary for a year. No one else has mentioned that. And I still find it bizarre that no one even expects the whole Princess of Wales to actually have a partial of patronages and events which need managing. And what's that about how cats isn't going to Singapore? This is the first time I'm hearing of it. Kat is still supposed to go to Ken Short in November. I'm sure if she escapes out on that well, it will be pretty telling. It's already telling. It's already alarming. 
every single thing now that they've decided to dedicate their lives in doing, it's already raising a lot of questions at the moment. And the fact that William has just left jealousy, just envy, such things just drive him. That's where the beginning of his failure begins. And the fact that he's not ready or not willing to let go of uh, his delusional obsession over the Sussexes, that's where also he fails terribly. And trust me, you things are going to get worse on his end if he doesn't bring himself to a meeting and just you know what because what he's doing is absolutely insane it's not even worth it we don't see its impotence that's why i remember saying in the previous video that william is making people see how irrelevant he is people no longer see his relevance at all and as for Kat, we wonder why he also why she also has a lot of part managers yet we don't see her working personally haven't seen one thing I hear is that they've been out there for a vacation for two months. Here they are now back, just kind of trying to fit in and just kind of trying to distract people from seeing Harry and Meghan success. But fortunately, they didn't manage. They didn't succeed in one way or another. And now there is the story of Camilla Chomini questioning as to why William will only be alone in New York City and even Singapore. As a prince and a princess, I bet they are supposed to be working together. Working together when need be. But this ones, the fact that they've distanced themselves this much has just rose a lot of questions. And it's also weird. Oh, personally, I find it so weird because I'm like, why is Camilla now kind of trying to divert? Because is she maybe kind of trying to fall on Harry and Meghan's side or what exactly is she trying to do this particular time? We are yet to find out, but sooner or later than we expect, trust me, you, we will know it all. It will be out here, as the way I've previously said, the silence at which those people who have always been on the front line of just hating on the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, just me giving an example of Piers Morgan, is so much alarming. We are so much, you. we are not used in seeing them this silent. This tells you there's something cooking behind the bars. There's something cooking that we know nothing about. But wait and see. Sooner or later, the will expect everything will be out here in broad light. Personally, my people, it's my belief that William and Kat are living separate, separate lives. It's just that it hasn't been brought out here in public domain. But trust me, you, this is something that we can't even debate about. And plus, if that whole journey, that whole trip, it's going to be a seven days plus for people who don't talk, for people who hate each other. Because we've seen of late how William has tried so much to be himself and just avoid cat. It's really going to be a long journey for both of them. And we know very well that William is that one person who wants whole attention on him. So he knows very well that in case also Kat makes an appearance and we know very well that she has a terrible fashion sense. The whole focus will be on her outfits, how she looks, how she dresses. If she knows, unless if she took some nods from the Duchess of Sussex's event back in Germany, that was the Invictus game probably. But if she didn't trust me, you, it's just going to be the same the way we are so much used in seeing her lacking fashion sense. And that's one thing probably William doesn't want because William wants to have all the attention for himself. That's from my perspective. But this too, it's so obvious that there is something wrong in their marriage. And that thing is so serious at the moment i don't know what are some of your thoughts over the scene kindly just leave your comments down below and that was our today's podcast thank you so much for tuning in and see you guys in our next podcast